Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are setting up my 2021 bullet journal. This is my Archer and Olive journal um, that I'm using this year. And 2021 is literally a few days away. And so um, I got this for Christmas. So sorry, this is a little bit later than some other influencers. But yes, I'm super excited to set this up. It's going to be such a fun video for me to film. So yeah, with that, I'm going to start planning. But if you like this video, make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe as well as turning on that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We are trying to get to 100 subscribers. And yeah, so thank you guys and let's get planning. All right, so starting this setup, um, I am just writing my name in the this book belongs to, which I feel like everybody should um and then writing the date i started it and then i will write the end date um hopefully this journal will last me all the way to december but you never know so yeah and then the second thing i am doing is just creating a key now i've been bullet journaling for a few years now so this is not a new thing to me but i still like to include a key just because i feel like that is just the bullet journal way and i know some people don't add one and that's totally fine but I also switched from a um, different symbol system um, from last year, so I did want to include a key. And then right next to the key, I just included an index, which I also know that not everybody likes an index. I don't use a lot of pages for an index. The only thing I really track with my index is the months of the year and how many... Um, pages those took up as well as just some spreads at the end of my bullet journal that I normally add and so I just needed a very simple index and that is what I did so just made a box and um had two sections for the page page numbers um and then or multiple pages it could be the page or pages and then the different topics so it would be like pages one through 13 are um set up and then pages 14 through 26 would be january you know it's very simple and i didn't really need it to be that um complicated but i just added the index lettering at the top in a tombow dual brush pen and yeah that was pretty much the index all right moving on to some more fun spreads in my opinion i wanted to just open up my journal with a hello to 2021 and it's very simple um i just wrote out hello 2021 um colored them in with my colors that i'm um, using for this setup and so the pink blue and light green are all crayola super tips and then then the yellow and purple are from the pastel tombow dual brush pen pack um and the light gray brush pen is a zebra mile liner brush pen which i have just received for christmas and honestly it is definitely already one of my favorite pens i love the zebra mild liner gray and the brush pen is just so nice too so what i am doing with the rest of this um hello 2021 spread is creating like a frame for it and i was gonna just originally do like one line border around it but i kind of wanted a frame um i think it makes it look kind of more fancy and cute and then i just colored in the frame gray um and then after that i just added some small star details with my zero one sakura pigment micron fine liner um the other fine liners i'm using are also sakura pigment microns but mostly in the shade i mean the thickness is um zero eight one and again zero one so a small one kind of a medium one and then a large one all right moving on to this next spread it is 2021 at a glance and i know you'll see me later i do 2020 at a glance i have just realized this as i am doing this edit so um i will be changing the header to 2021 at a glance but for now i am just gonna leave it um for now and you'll see me do that again but basically what this spread is is it's just all the little mini calendars of the year i don't like a future log personally i just don't use one 
and uh, just having the year to glance helps me see and it's probably one of my most used spreads especially when setting up monthly and weekly setups and it's just really nice to have an overview of the year don't worry i did not do the 2020 calendars i did 2021 calendars i just accidentally messed up the header um so yeah that is basically this spread it is again one of my most used spreads and something that i would recommend people use if you're not going to use a feature log because they basically serve the same purpose except for um this 2021 at a glance just doesn't have any specific dates written down in it so yeah, this is um, one of my favorite spreads and I just decorated it again with some little star doodles. And I also did the headers for each of the mini calendars with the month of the year. And then off camera, I filled in all of the little calendars just because it is kind of a pain to watch um, and it's very boring. But honestly, I personally like doing um, all these little calendars. It's just very, um, calming and you just keep writing little numbers and again it's kind of a long spread it takes a really long time but i think that it's a worth the wait All right, so moving on to the next paid spread, we have one of my most used spreads again, and this is my grid spacing cheat sheet. Um, this was definitely inspired by Amanda Rachel Lee. I've used this spread, however, for three years now and still love it. So basically what a grid spacing cheat sheet is, is it really helps you um, save time when trying to space out your spreads. Um, so basically what I've done is written all the numbers 1 through 38 down the page and 1 through 26 across the page because those are the amounts of grid spaces I have on my um, page and then created halves, quarters, thirds. You can do more. These are the, just the ones that I like to use the most for dividing the page so that whenever I'm like, oh, I need to divide a page into thirds, I can flip to this page and see, oh, a third is eight spaces across and 12 spaces down. So that's basically how I use this spread and it's super useful. And I just, it's, it's, it's a great spread. I would recommend anybody have it in their bullet journal just because it's so handy and I use it constantly. Um, as well as making sure it is on the left side of the page so that you can flip back easily to it and not have to turn your journal um, to the specific page and just kind of flip look and then go back. And basically what I've done was after I did all of the spacing, I just uh, highlighted the different um, dimensions with a specific color. So the thirds are in pink, the fourths are in blue, and then the halves are in green. And then just added my little grid spacing cheat sheet title at the bottom. And that was pretty much this spread done. Moving over to the right side of this page. Again, I messed up and I wrote 2020. I will fix that later. I'm so sorry um, to myself and you guys because I know it's probably bugging some of you. But these are my goals, focuses, and dreams for this year. I like having kind of different categories and then just doing different categories inside those different categories. Um, but basically, these are kind of the big categories and then I have some specifics um, down there. I again just did some little star doodles around those and um, I have all of them um, kind of taped up or hanging from tape or a little clip. Um, so I have personal goals, YouTube goals, slash social media that all kind of link together, focuses, um, some big dreams, and then some social um, goals um, just because 2020 was rough. And I feel like we need to get back into like reaching out to people and just becoming more social again. I'm very social and I would like to reach out to more people. So I'm trying to have goals for that. Um, and then just 
again using my accent colors to color in all the different tapes and then doing drop shadows for each box and this is pretty much this spread i really like how it looks it's very uh simple yet i will definitely have fun filling it out and then going on to the next spreads i really like playlist spreads but i never have enough songs i feel like to do one because i kind of listen to the same music most of the time and normally change up a few songs so i wanted to do a song of the month spread i want to try this out i'm not sure if it's going to work but my plan is to just every month um write down a song that i've been listening to on repeat and instead of doing like a big playlist spread for each month doing this instead so yeah, this is an idea. I just did kind of the same um, spaces as I did for the calendars. So they are seven across and six down. Um, and yeah, I just doodled some little music notes at the top um, and made it a very simple spread so that when I put the song titles in, those will be the colors. I just finished off the spread with some gray um, swipes of my zebra myeliner brush pen and then writing all of the abbreviated months okay so on to this next spread i've seen this spread kind of around a little bit and i really liked how it looked so this is my cleaning routine and i'm personally love to clean um most of the time so i hope this will help me but i just wrote out some daily cleaning some weekly cleaning some bi-weekly slash monthly cleaning and kind of lump those together mostly these are bi-weekly ones but i wanted to just do monthly in case i forget and then every six months um and these are just going to help me um, keep track of what I need to clean and I'm not doing just little trackers so that I track every time I'm just going to flip back to the spread when I need some ideas of what I need to clean um, every day or week or month and then kind of on the bottom of the spread I also did a last replaced part of the spread this is for when I um, think of things that I need to replace or keep track of when I've replaced and so some things are like my toothbrush, my razor blades, and my contacts. Um, and then to this last page of this setup, this is a year of themes spread. I did this at the end of my bullet journal this last year and actually really, really loved it. So I'm going to do it at the beginning. Basically every month I'm going to come back to this page and fill in which theme I did for each month. So it's a very bare bones spread for now, but it'll look very colorful and filled in at the end of the year. And so all I did was just um, do a header a year of themes, um, doing the same lettering style as I've been doing the entire time with the um, letters outlined in black and then drop shadow with a gray. And then for all the boxes, I just created 12 boxes for the 12 months of the year and just kept them very um, plain and didn't fill them in at all. I just added a gray drop shadow to them at the end just to add a little bit more dimension and gray goes, goes with everything. So I'm not worried about it not matching the themes, but yeah, so this is a very fun spread. I decided to do this instead of like a year in Polaroids spread because I don't have a Polaroid camera. I have a printer, but I prefer to use those for trips and other things like that. So I thought that this was a good idea and just a fun spread in general. So if you guys recreate any of these spreads that I've shown in this video, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Bujo by Leah. And if you haven't checked out my 2020 bullet journal flip through, I will link it in the cards for you guys to go check out. But that was a really fun video for me to film. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. All right, here is the flip through of my 2021 bullet journal setup. I love this theme with the colors and everything like that. And hopefully 2021 will be a little bit better than 2020. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. My January plan with me will be up in a few days. And yeah, stay tuned for that. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you guys soon.